Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodlands United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for Tuesday, April the 14th, 2015, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. In Jesus' Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 6, verses 14 and 15, Jesus says, For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Jesus makes this statement after teaching about prayer and giving us what we call the Lord's Prayer in verses 9 through 13. This is a challenging teaching that we affirm every time we say the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. If one uses the words debts or sins, it means the same thing. I don't know about you, but I would rather not have my forgiving others tied to my being forgiven by God. I need and want to have my trespasses forgiven, but forgiving others who have trespassed against me is a whole different matter. Not according to Jesus. Jesus says the two are interconnected. Jesus reinforces this in Matthew 7 verses 1 and 2 when he teaches about judging others. Do not judge so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, will be, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. The truth is that when God offers one a second chance through the forgiveness of sins, one's resentment of others can be a barrier to stepping into the new future that God calls us to. When Jesus gave Simon Peter a second chance, he also gave him a new purpose. If you remember yesterday's devotion, that purpose was feed my sheep. When we enter into the new life that comes with saying yes to Jesus' offer of grace, it challenges us not only to leave our sin behind, but it calls us to leave everything behind that will keep us from becoming the new creature that our redemption promises. The late Nelson Mandela said this in a powerful way when he was asked about how he was able to work with the same people who were responsible for sending him unjustly to prison for many years. Nelson Mandela said, Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemies. This could be why Jesus teaches us that realizing forgiveness, realizing a second chance, entering into the new life that God's grace offers requires us to empty the cup of resentment that we sometimes hold so tightly and drink from so deeply. Drinking from that cup of resentment poisons our opportunity for new life. This is not an easy teaching. How difficult it must have been for Jesus when he looked down from the agony of the cross upon those who placed him there and said, Father, forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. Forgiveness of others can only be realized by the same power of God's grace that forgives our sin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, by your grace you offer us new life. By your grace, help us to forgive others as we have been forgiven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.